legendary children. What's the tea, honey bee? It's Valentine's Day. Ah! Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little boy glam look. I'm going to recreate the look that I wore to the lover's ball. Baby, it was tens. We were giving, honey. Everybody was synchronized. We all had our looks. It was amazing. Who knew all I just needed to be around? With some other black queer people, honey. That's all I needed for my spirit. Anyway, so Valentine's Day is coming up, and I want to talk to you about Valentine's Day and my dating experience and the lack thereof. Okay, wonderful. My bags are popping today, and I need to put some of my little under eye cream on. I'll be right back. It's called Snake Venom. I got it from Instagram, but it worked. That's all I know. Okay, we went and we just primed my eyes with a little elf primer. Okay. You know, and when I look back on my dating queer history or whatever, even when I was trying to be straight. I never really had, I had one, two girlfriends, three. I think I had three girlfriends in my whole time, right? My whole like trying to be straight period. I actually tried to marry a woman. Can you believe that? Me, sugary as hell trying to marry a woman. What would she have done? She'd have looked fabulous. The wedding, the reception, everything would have been kind. But when it came to getting it on, I just don't know if I'd have been that man. I want to share with y'all my life and my heart. You know, y'all do respond to vulnerability and y'all want to know the doll, so I don't mind opening up. Um, I used to be 300 pounds and I had a lot of fat phobia. Um, thank God for the language now to understand what it was at the time. But before I even came out when I was like heavier, I looked at my body and I never felt like it was mine, if that makes any sense. I felt like my body belonged to someone else. Like I kept feeling like this me at the time when I was plus size, I just felt like, it, this ain't me. This, th whose body is this? I felt like I was just like, like I'm here and this was the body. You know what I mean? If this was the shell, I would eat all of my feelings, baby. I would eat them. And I ate out of my shame of being queer. You know what I mean? I didn't know what to do with it. People didn't know what to do with me. Um, I felt very other. For those of you who've been wondering what I use when I do a boy beat, this is what it is. I use a tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier. I don't like heavy, heavy foundation. Truthfully, I don't even like to wear makeup when I'm like male presenting. Why? Because I sweat, okay? And I hate when you sweat and then you see where the makeup came off at. I'd be like, ooh, because I read people. I'd be like, girl, you don't want to touch it up. So then I came out. I don't know how the gays are. Not the queers, the gays, okay? Because gay, gay men, ooh, baby, vicious. They will give you a complex if you don't know who you are, baby. Okay, baby. At the time, when I came out, baby, I didn't know who I was. And I came out, I had left a very, very white evangelical uh, Christian ministry. My best friend at the time was Latino. So we were the two, like, POCs in this sea of whiteness, right? See, that's just enough. Probably stop right now. But I'm not. I'm going to just put a tinge of the light one. I just want it to pop. Any of y'all remember the days of Grindr where Fat Black and Femme was never the team? When I first came out, I had so much, I mean, it all ties up. When I first came out, I had so much anti-blackness abiding in my frame. Like, it was disgusting. Disgusting. People go, what kind of guys you that? And I would just say, oh, white boys. Like, they were the only one. Like, they are the only fuckers who matter. And so coming out and being surrounded around whiteness, only seeing them, only hanging around them, but never feeling apart, never feeling like you were one of them, you were just always the black spot in the photo. Woo! I didn't love me. I was waiting for some man, some white man to come along and to just come in and rescue and save the day. Now, that shit sounds gross. I can't believe I'm even saying that out loud, but it is the truth. I am delivered! I just needed to go find me, you know what I mean? And a year and a half before I got on Drag Race is when I really started to just go within myself and really started to do some of that internal work and started to like, why the fuck am I praising one set of people and not even praising the people that I come from. My white supremacy affects every facet of your life if you are unaware. Um, girl, it was a learning journey. And now I had been on my weight loss journey, I think since 2010. Like, wonderful, I did it. The weight came all the way back. Then I came out and then gained even more weight. It was horrible and you know how the gays are, babe. And started to recognize that I didn't love me, so how can I expect somebody else to love me? How can I expect somebody else to want to come over here and be, you know what I mean? I've done the work, and I'm still doing the work. I don't believe that you can just throw all of that bullshit, 
you just delete it and it's just gone. Like, oh, it's gone. No. And it is a journey and it is a process. And I'm here for it, okay? Because it's just making me better. I used to say, oh, I want a relationship. Oh, and the reality is, I don't. The last guy I was trying to talk to, baby, I told him, I said, I'm better at making money than falling in love. Okay? And he was like, agreed, me too. And that's what it is. Like, so serious. I'm better at making money than falling in love because I would so rather be paid, successful, and in a house with heat, groceries, and the lights on instead of being in love, broke, destitute, on the street. No, ma'am. I didn't date. I wasn't putting myself out there to be pursued. You know what I mean? I... I felt shame about my body. I felt unattractive. I felt all of these things. And when you feel negative about yourself, you give that off. So I don't know how I thought bullshit that you that you fall so accustomed to of just going, oh, some man's gonna find me an upskirt. No, bitch, that's a fantasy, bitch. We, uh, we have to pump you up and build you up. No, baby, you should be coming here equal and mutual. Amen. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's using the Mo Beauty def Brow Defining Pencil. However, Y'all have sold the girl out, and now I'm stuck with the brown one because I ain't got the black one for my brow because the girl is selling. She's selling out, so I say thank you. Just let me get two before y'all sell, okay? Ooh. I, I don't want a red lip, but I do want to stain it. Not a whole lot. Okay, we're going in with baby brown cow. That's it, see? Yeah, that's what we wanted, bruh! I was gonna do lashes, but I don't have a small, like, lash. And I can't, I, I, I don't believe in looking crazy. I'll just put on some mascara, because I do have long lashes. These are the shoes. People were like, who was that, who was that, who was that? I said, it's me. <laughs> oh, girl, I was giving it to the kids! She's rude. Anyway, um, so I say all of those things to say that my Valentine is myself. And I'm so like in love with me and falling more and more in love with me. The more that I heal from the toxic BS, the anti-blackness, the fat phobia, the, all of the things, like as I heal from that, I fall more and more in love with me, bitch. And now that I didn't got the weight off, ah! what's that one post and they say, baby, I'm gonna get fit and I ain't gonna let none of you hit. Very that energy. I learned that I didn't want a relationship. You know, the language is, oh, I want to be in a relationship. Oh, I want to be in a relationship. But I learned that, no, you don't. You want companionship. You want someone to fill the time. You want someone to be there. Because a relationship is requires an investment of self. And I didn't know if I was really ready to give that. I don't know if I'm, who, me? I'm the only child. I'm kind of selfish. Just saying. I know me. So I don't know if I'm, I'm really ready. Now, could I? Yes. Am I loyal? Sometimes to a fault, bitch, and I will ride or die. But this season of my life I'm in, I don't know if I want to do that. I just kind of want to be me. Baby, want yourself. Want you. Because when you want you, that's when somebody else will want you. Well, that's nice and all, but I still want some booty. I got you. Oh, this works. <laughs> somebody who is high yellow. A high yellow black person's booty cheeks. There you go. And just so, just be you, cause you are more than enough. I'm so happy. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm trying to be a ventriloquist. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day. Anyway, y'all be blessed. This was so much fun. Love yourself. That's the main thing. That's the whole thing, girl. Love yourself.